yeah, got about three hours till gotta be back at church to like run sound and whatnot for a piano, piano, piano recital that's going on tonight. Um, yeah, and I'm kind of tired, so I'm getting ready to take a nap and hopefully get like at least a video uploading while I'm taking a nap. Yeah, then we'll go to that. But today's gonna be a pretty short and like I don't know, an interesting vlog, I guess. Oh, but so see y'all in a little bit. Well, just. Let's see, yeah, got to the church, realized I've got to get mom's key to the church, and yeah, so basically we were all locked out, so I had to run up here to the movie to get the key from mom, and now we're heading back, and it's been like, I was supposed to be there like 10 minutes ago, 10 or 15 minutes ago, so, <sighs> yikes, but yeah, well, heading back now, so. And we're done. Now we got two just shining off all the rest of these lights. Now we just gotta check, make sure everything's locked up, and we'll be heading out. Well, that wasn't that bad. Uh, pretty fun, actually, I guess. But we're gonna head on home now. Um, I'm going to probably drain some of my, um, or just drain my transmission pan. Um, stupid Ford. Um, anyways, but I think I have too much transmission fluid, which I think that's why it's shifting really weird and why it's still acting up. Um, I've also been checking it, and it is high on the stick, and it's also kind of foamy if I've been driving it, which all of those are symptoms of having too much transmission fluid. So, I'm just going to go ahead and drain what fluid I have um, in the, whatever, in the pan, and then uh, hopefully we'll be good. If not, then I'll just add it from what I put in, or took out. So, got us our little shop towel, our wrench, right? No, socket, or ratchet. Yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I don't remember which socket it was, so I brought them all. Uh, I believe it's either a 16 or an 18. 18, 16. Uh, I think it was more of a more of an 18. So now it's nice and hot. So I do not recommend doing it with it this hot. Because exhaust is right there, not it's hot. Engine's hot. Transmission is obviously hot. might be a 16 I don't remember but just basically we're just going to pull that bolt out put it into our bucket here and yeah so let me let me go find the right socket and then we will do this okay just got it cracked open and I end up having to use a 15 millimeter Okay, let's see this a little bit more. Remember, this is going to be nice and hot. Ooh. 
not as bad as it was before, but still pretty, pretty nasty looking. Well, I didn't let it drain completely out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like about right there. So we got a lot out. So I'll head back up and check that level and see what the level's like and go from there. And then if it, if I think it's good up there, um, or where I think it should be, then I'll go ahead and start it up and just kind of let it cycle through and kind of level off. And then we'll go and see what we need to do. Well, it's like a little, it's about, like right about in the cold area. So we got it, got a lot out. So when we start it up, let it kind of idle um, and just circulate a lot of that fluid through. I don't know if you guys will be able to hear this, but I think I can hear it misfiring pretty bad. See if you can listen. Okay, it's kind of calmed down now and it's sounding more like uh, valves or lifters or something, but yeah, I was hearing it though. But, so just, I was checking the fluid and it's looking like low now. So I'm probably gonna, probably gonna shut the engine off, kind of jack it up a little bit so I can get my little bucket out. Um, put a little bit in and just keep checking it. Well, I, I don't know if it's quite good or not, but we're just gonna go ahead and drive around I'll just take a quick trip around late neighborhood wake everybody up um, and then come back check it and see if we're good um, and so yeah well yeah just kind of went around the neighborhood and yeah so you can see that was that was drive and here's your verse mm -hmm. So it's acting like it doesn't have enough fluid like it was, but I checked the fluid and it almost looks like I have too much again. So I want to take it for a little longer drive um, and try to make sure we get all that fluid all cycling through, um, make sure we get all nice and heated up. one of our first big tests. So, right in the garage. <laughs> Let's see what she sounds like soaking up in the garage. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 dun. say again about my gauges especially my temp gauge so you can see right there it's saying it's like I don't know about 200 degrees or so 
but definitely not a below, definitely not 210 or higher. Up here, the computer is reading that it's 213. So, I'm pretty sure that's a gauge issue. Uh, whatever. But, just got back from the second drive. It's doing pretty good. Not, not perfect, but doing pretty good. So, it's still slipping a lot, like not wanting to shift in the second, coming out of the first when you um, have a lot of power going to it. But other than that, I think it's doing pretty good. It's still reversed, still kind of not wanting to shift into the into reverse, and then it'll sometimes stall it out. But so we're just going to check it again and see where we're at now. Just checked it one last time, and it was right at the top of full hot. So I'm going to say we're, I'm going to say we're probably good. Just because I'm, I might take one more quick lap around our part of the neighborhood, or at least on the street, maybe. I lied. I think I'm going to do one more long test. Then we're just calling it night. It, it's doing pretty good, and levels look pretty good. So, and it's like almost 10 30 so yeah i'm just gonna make one more quick long test and then we'll be done okay so yeah again that first second issue is still better but here is basically what it's doing now just just like an update on it Snowing? It's snowing rocky here. Rocky? You making a snow? <laughs>